happen. So, hello everybody. A very happy Fundamental Friday to you. Um, we're, I'm here with the lovely, um, uh, the matchmaker, uh, Lara Besbrode. Hello, lovely Lara. Good morning. Hello, hello. Oh no, it's lunchtime. Good afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> we've, we've been talking for a little while and we've been up early so it feels like it's still nine a.m. yeah <laughs> ross go get us yeah um lara before you tell us about your wonderful services at the matchmaker uk could you give us a top tip please top tip for friday i would say to all business owners um focus on your personal branding and remember that people do buy from you so yeah. as much as we tend to put so much emphasis on making sure that our business branding and our logo and our website etc is looking great but what do we actually look like and who are we as the face yeah. of our business so I just say you know maybe if you haven't looked at yourself today I'm thinking about how you communicate about your business outwards to your clients then make today the day that um, maybe you need to put a new photo on your LinkedIn maybe you yeah. need to get a new photo maybe you need to get a haircut maybe you need mm. to you look at my hair my goodness me but it's all about personal branding your hair looks so, lovely and you've got volume you've got volume it's I've lovely got the booth haven't I the Friday <laughs> blue <laughs> I'm feeling around with that I think when you're when you're very driven, I mean, we're very. That's a great tip, and and thank you for that because there is a huge mis mismatch a lot of the time, yeah, between people's personal and their company branding. But just going back to our personal branding, listen, you're a success, and we're going to tell everybody all about that in a minute. And you're absolutely going to show off and tell everybody how fantastic and wonderful <laughs> you are and the services you provide. They are outstanding. But you're a success. And when you get to a certain level and you're very driven, Lara, um, at, you you can just kind of just rock up, Lara. So, uh, but you look great anyway. <laughs> you look great. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you are a success. So tell us about that success. Uh, who's Matchmade, the Matchmaker UK, and what do you do? Okay, thank you. So thank you for the opportunity. So I am managing director, but also um, certified international MMI accredited matchmaker. You can see I'm an award winning. We've got five stars on Trustpilot and Google reviews. You know, that's again, really, really important. A little bit about the business. So my background, 30 years uh, PR and marketing, working in agency in London and overseas. And then um, more recently in Cheshire, um, at the start of the pandemic, I decided after all these years that I wanted to do something different and I wanted to bring my expert sort of introduction skills uh, where I've been introducing people uh, professionally to other businesses, to other businesses in networking groups and so on and so forth. Um, I wanted to become an international matchmaker. So I decided to do it. I purchased the domain, came up with the name uh, the start of March in 2020 and of course who knew we were going to have a global pandemic so mm -hmm. a lot of my competitors were furloughed and their businesses were closed down and with my digital background I was able to build the literally build the business from my kitchen uh, mm -hmm. built the business we went limited in 2020 we started taking international clients from November 2021 um, if you have a look and click on our team page we have a matchmaking team and we also have a transformation team. So really important, what do we do? Um, we are tasked with finding professional individuals for other professional individuals to introduce them for love. People come to us when they are single business owners. Um, they could be, you know, C-sector level. Um, they could be um, one-man bands. Um, they are professionals who have obviously focused on their careers and have either been single forever or separated, divorced, or unfortunately widowed. And they've tried the day apps. They've tried introductions from friends, but the bottom line is this, it just for whatever reason isn't working for them and they need professional help. Yeah. So it started off just as me. And whilst I was sort of building up the business and introducing people, I also um, during the pandemic did my international certification. So I am an MMI um, Institute approved matchmaker. That means that I can collaborate with 700 matchmakers around the world so my clients aren't just benefiting from 
my skills, my team's expertise, mm. uh, we can collaborate with other teams around the world. So, of course, I've got a fantastic team around me. Um, I've got James Priest, incredible, globally successful dating expert. I've got stylists that work with me. I've got photographers. I've got transformation coaches. So the point being, somebody yeah. will come to us and say, I'm single. I want to be introduced but they may not be in the best place for themselves. And the way that I, you know, as, as, as I mentioned to you before, um, it's a little bit like when you sell your house, you don't just open the door to the estate agent and say, come on in, ignore the mess. And the fact that the kids' toys are everywhere and the house looks knackered and the furniture is really old. You know, when you put your house on the market, you would take advice, maybe get it clean professionally, decorated, new kitchen, new bathroom, get the garden landscape, get the, yeah. Jet wash, whatever it is that you do and then side the, appeal amazing side appeal at the very least exactly yeah. you've got to have the best version yeah um, to be able to market it in the best possible way and with all my sort of past marketing experience that's how we approach it we will take on a new client listen that client may come to us and be absolutely drop dead gorgeous he or she may be amazing and ready to go but the likelihood is the person has maybe not had time to focus on themselves. They could be busy running the business, managing the family life or whatever it is they've got going on. Maybe they just haven't had time to have a good look at themselves. And maybe they need some coaching, date coaching, relationship coaching, or the stylist to have a look at their wardrobe and put together a capsule dating wardrobe yeah. the photographer to take some incredible photos of them. Um, so it's a very bespoke service. Um, yeah. We've got, obviously, we've got lots of success stories in the, my goodness me, it's just over two years. Let me think. Yeah, of course. We've just done that two years. I'm just trying to think how many people we've matched. Hundreds and hundreds. Um, we've wow. got two, two weddings and an engagement this year. Wow. Um, I've just received a beautiful email from a client who, he was with us for a year and he was just yeah. about to start his next cycle of, you know, introductions. And the ninth introduction, she was his ninth. He was her first introduction. Oh, and nice. they're going to make a go of it. And he oh. thinks he found him his soulmate. And it's beautiful. I love it. It's absolutely Gosh. beautiful. Yeah, so. what a lovely, lovely thing. I mean, <clears throat> it, 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 must, it must just give you a huge amount of satisfaction. It really, it really does. The results. Yeah, heartfelt, yeah. genuinely heartfelt um you really know does. feelings that you must have but it's not I think a lot of people I think it's really important to to dispel myths I mean first of all let's look at the positives I mean it's safe isn't it coming through somebody like you is safe That's due diligence yeah so I mean the, it's the time let, thing as well absolutely. I mean a lot of people I think uh, maybe think people that come to people like you they're desperate they're ugly yeah, they lack social skills what's wrong with you yeah. well actually I tell you what's wrong with me I'm very busy and I'm very successful and I'm very time poor and, <laughs> and that's my problem it's, it's a multitude and, it is yeah. a multitude of reasons because no two clients are the same um yeah. it's becoming you know there's there's no stigma attached to requiring an expert's guidance and support you know we'll go to the doctor we'll go to the lawyer we'll yeah. ask someone to look after our finances someone sorts you know sorts our hair etc we're so busy having so many different people involved in our lives but when it comes yeah. to our dating journey and this is yeah. sort of number one uh, tip that I will put out there to anybody who's watching oh, this video today yeah we'll say, <laughs> what is your dating strategy and most people, when I ask them that question, they look at me and they go, uh, I, me. And I think, have well, one. you have a business plan, you have a financial plan as to how, yeah. you know, where you see yourself. What happens with your dating? Uh, you just, you just throw all of your, all of your caution to the wind and you shove yourself on a day app and you just don't know who it is you're going to be speaking to, or you leave oh. it to the hands of your friends to introduce you to their best friends. They could be best friends, but that doesn't mean that they know anything about that person from, from a mm -hmm. dating point of view. So I always say, what is your dating strategy? And yeah. if you're watching this and you are single and you don't have one, then yeah. you really do need to speak to me. And I will do a review of any one member's dating situation wow. at the moment. I'm happy to do a free 
um, overview of your strategy. And that could be as simple as looking at the profile that you've got out there on, you yeah. know, how old is your date app profile? I mean, my God, those pictures, are you still using those pictures from when uh, you were about three stone lighter or much younger or yeah. when you were hair, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> So it's, it's, it's being able to look at people's dating strategy. Um, we work from a point of really strict confidentiality and due diligence. Yeah. Um, everybody has to be ID verified, whether they're on our network, where we have a database of people that are available for us to consider for our clients, or whether they are active clients that we're representing. Um, I'll have met you, I'll have interviewed you, I'll have seen your ID, then we'll have gone through a sort of psychology-based profiling interview, then we'll have done photography with you, potentially some styling, maybe wow. some coaching, before you're actually ready to be considered for an introduction. And yeah. then the clever stuff kind of happens where um, nothing gets approved without me looking at it, so my team of matchmakers will wow. be headhunting, interviewing. So if you came to us and said, you know, this is what I'm looking for, I don't just literally go to my database and pluck up that amazing unicorn. We'll probably have to go and headhunt for them and find them. A bit like a recruitment consultant. Right. But looking yeah. at that person's potential partner for them to go on a date with. So you'll have come to me with, you know, your ideals, your expectations, your preferences, and so on and so forth. Mm. Um, my job is to manage those expectations right. and to look at, you know, if somebody comes to me and says, you know, I am looking for a woman 30 years younger than me. And uh, this is what she's got to have this kind of figure and that kind of income. It's about managing expectations and also reminding people um, something that's a real sort of bugbear for me is reminding people that people get older, people's looks change, you know, hair yeah. falls out. Uh, weight changes and so on and so forth and to sort of be able yeah. to look under the surface and stop being so superficial on you know I won't date a woman if she's curvy or I won't date a person because of this ethnicity or that religion or this job and so on and so forth mm -hmm. um, it is a bespoke service so of course it comes with a premium cost absolutely a no. five-star service five-star um, service and five -star price. <laughs> <laughs> you know we, we we call ourselves the ferrari of the dating world um, you definitely are you definitely are i mean i've never come across anybody you know like you that does what you do and you're everywhere aren't you i mean we saw some of those um logos on your website you've been on mtv and yeah. where else have you been you were recently MTV, in a magazine radio, on the radio. newspaper i mean I mean, I, I, and that comes back to what, what we were saying at the beginning about sort of personal branding and, and people buy you, you know, it yeah. doesn't matter how amazing your, your business offering is people yeah. will buy you, you know, they'll have a favorite person that maybe does their hair at the hairdressers. They'll really enjoy speaking to that, you know, bank manager. God, if you ever do speak to a bank manager these days, but you know, people <laughs> buy the relationship with the person and, and, and the business offering often comes second. Mm. So we really pride ourselves in the fact that we, you know, we listen, you know, we yeah. listen to what our clients need and we work really, really hard. I work really, really hard. Um, you do, you I, I do. We had a little pre-conversation. I can't believe, yeah, the amount of work that you do. Yeah, wow. I okay. think, yeah, I mean, I think that's really important, Emma, because, you know, most of your members will be business owners or very senior in their businesses and everybody works hard, don't they? What they're yes. doing. Yeah. Um, I was but, gonna give you a call to action. Yeah, so this is your call to action. So you're currently looking for, <laughs> my call to action well what are we looking for um we are currently headhunting quite um firmly in london at the moment we've got a lot of really incredible professionals in the 40 to 57 category in london oh, we're, we're all lonely we're, i mean yeah, yeah we're all we're so busy on? in london yeah. we're all busy Absolutely. We're all miserable. We don't trust anybody. <laughs> yeah, please help us. <laughs> yeah, we, you know, we're definitely, it's definitely a shout out. So I would love to have a chat with anybody who's in the one group who's single. Um, at the moment. I've got someone for you. Yeah, I'm going to make an introduction for you. Yeah. Excellent. Um, you know, we've got He's an, an international jet setter. Setup. Okay. So the problem he's got, you might be able to match him up with another female international jet setter. Absolutely. And then between the two of them, they can sort of make their schedules work, maybe. 
Yeah, you know, I, I mean, exactly that. Time yeah. poor people, people of uh, high net worth or people yeah. who are in a position, they potentially are in a position they could be working, you know, in the medical industry or, yeah. I mean, literally are, are professional. They're all professionals who are working with us. Um, so, of course, a certain income level, a certain lifestyle and so on and so forth. And they've uh, got to be single, obviously. They've got to be, they've got to be single. You know, and what we don't provide is we don't work in the casual space. So there are lots of people apps. looking for love. Well, you're it, not Tinder, basically. You're not no, Tinder. <laughs> we're not. No, we're not the casual swipe swiping kind of. It's not that kind yeah. of. Most people who we're who not Amsterdam. Like no, no, <laughs> no. There's, there's nothing. There's nothing happens that quickly in our world. It's all, um, you know. It's all obviously You're in it for the long haul. Yeah, it's the long game. It's the long game. Absolutely. Who want who want companion, you know, people who want to have a genuine relationship. Yeah. Um, and the reason why they're coming to us is because you haven't got to do all of that legwork in oh, I've got to find it, out yeah. about them and then I've got to chat to them and I've got to text them and it takes two to four weeks. Yeah. Our clients um literally when they are sent a profile for an introduction. Um, we take a yes from them, we take a yes from the other side, and we we then make the introduction happen. It's a number swap. Within 48 hours, those two people are on a date. Yeah. And so if you imagine this, you actually have to do nothing for your for yourself other than say yes or no. Lovely. It's yeah. Yes or no, and then we create the date, and we've got great relationships with you know restaurants and hotels, etc. Not just in the UK, but all over. So if the client, yeah, because that's always a bit of a bugbear, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. It's like, oh, where to go? Who's going to pay? What that. do I wear? And yeah, so that. you sort of help. You sort of take care and help. You. It's kind that. of a concierge element that's actually included in the package. But we wow. are in conversation with. Um, we've got some supper clubs coming. We've got some exclusive events coming, so that our clients, when they are obviously put together on a date, they've got somewhere exciting to go to as well. Yeah, I'm just writing that down. I've never heard of that before, but that is basically the concept, isn't it? It's yeah. a concierge dating service. Yeah, I've never heard yeah. of that. Yeah, it's, it's, it, it's introductions primarily. That's what we that's what we specialise with. And also because I am obviously an MMI certified matchmaker, we yeah. collaborate with senior elite matchmakers like ourselves. So yeah. again, a client will come to us and if we don't have the, you know, the right type of client for them that doesn't mean it stops it means that I will then go and speak to you know the CEO of another matchmaking agency who like myself or my team will speak to their team members not just in the UK all over the world so yeah. I'll give you an example I have had just had a call from a client in South Africa uh, uh, sorry a, a, a matchmaking agency in South Africa whose yeah. client is flying into Scotland um, and she's based in South Africa and she's coming into Scotland on X, Y, Z dates and would yeah. like to have some dates with a Glaswegian <laughs> or an Edinburgh gentleman uh, oh, with, with the view me. because she's got business interests in Scotland and she yeah. may relocate. Isn't that yeah. exciting? So they haven't got any access to that market, but we do because we've got clients yeah. there. So. So my international jet setter then he's gonna love you okay great yeah. <laughs> i'm just gonna write that down. <laughs> yeah. let's make some love on friday let's make it happen in, yeah <laughs> you know, let's make it happen there's so much misery going on at the moment um that it's really important to to try and smile on a friday it really is it really is um lara just very quickly then before you go um if somebody has somebody in mind, like I do, so I've got somebody in mind, I'd like to make an introduction for you. Yes. It's a sensitive subject. What do people say? If they want to introduce them to that, you, what should they say to that them? Is, you know, that is a brilliant, brilliant question. Because, <laughs> you know, you cannot send me details of someone that doesn't know that I'm going to approach them. Exactly. Because, yeah. I mean, that also crosses into a whole kind of data protection uh, mm -hmm. area. Yeah. So what I like to ask is that if you have somebody who you I think would benefit from our service or even just a conversation with me initially, because I'm all one for sort of helping people, even if they don't come and work with us. Mm -hmm. um, it's always great to just say to them that you've met somebody who could potentially introduce them to the person of their dreams. Why not? Oh, would it be OK? Right. Would Easy. it be OK? <laughs> to either make an email introduction or to pass their details to me. 
Um, the other way is when you say to somebody, well, look, why don't you go and look for Lara at the match, you know, at the matchmaker, our, our website is thematchmaker.uk, our social yeah. media is thematchmaker UK. Often people, when they're very busy and single, that's the reason why they, they just don't do it. So you would, if you genuinely yeah. want to help somebody on that journey, yeah. that introduction, email. Maybe introduce, give them some encouragement as well. Absolutely. If they, first of all, if they object, try and, you know, egg them, you know, talk them into it's, it a bit it's, more. It's, Normally, um, as you've already had, a lot of people aren't even aware that we exist. Um, yeah, I therefore. wish I'd known you. I mean, I'm engaged now, in case anybody hasn't seen my lovely rock. What's in St. James's? I'm very chuffed with it. Not that it's about the ring, it's all about the love, but a little bit about the ring. <laughs> a tiny bit about the ring. Oh, it's quite a lot and, about the ring. Come uh, on. The just ring a tiny bit. <laughs> and, um, and I was, well, so I've never had an engagement ring before, so I'm really chuffed. But um, I had to kiss a lot of frogs. I mean, well, I say a lot. I had to kiss like three or four. Well, they kissed me. I mean, I went on a lunch date with them and they just seemed to automatically expect, you know, a peck on the cheek or something like that. Okay. And even if you're walking away, well, you don't have a choice, Lara. I mean, they're coming at you, they're grabbing you, you know, so I, <laughs> I wish to God, yeah, that I'd met you. I did have some nice lunches. Mm, had some not so nice lunches um but I would have loved to have met you while I was so hand yeah. holding hand holding and feedback through the dating journey you know we we have a certain cutoff point where it's normally at the third date where we're no longer involved but getting client feedback on both sides it's really really oh no I mean three or four lunches with different people not with hubs <laughs> <laughs> with, but, but within our journey that's when we've when we've introduced we'll, okay. we'll be with them three dates with that same person that's not, lovely. you know they, they have that kind of you know this this you know it's a bit like having a man you like the wingman you like, like the, the wingman wing you know they ring me at all different times yeah. they, and, and going back to what you were saying um again as part of our membership there is a, a code of conduct you know there's an expectation of how people should behave um both during the dating process but also prior to that communicating with my team communicating mm -hmm. about the profiles they receive you know pe people can be very rude um and it's and about they don't even realize it themselves exactly yeah, it's yeah. really important it's really important so of course it is it is a fully sort of premium service and you know our clients know that the they're going to be shown really beautiful profiles of other people they yeah. know that the the quality and the expectation is there they know the due diligence is done but equally when they then go on the introduction you know they you know you've just mentioned about how to be touched or when to be touched and we did a lot of work during the pandemic where we had obviously social distancing and what to do you know someone's got a mask on at what point do we actually touch them because there's been a lot of anxiety with touching with strange i.e strangers two people going on a date you know yeah people went through quite a complex time in the pandemic so it's it's about being able to manage all of that side of things as well so mm -hmm. you're on your own in the wild west of dating when it is the wild there. west yeah so with us, you know we we literally are the gatekeepers just yeah. like clients may have pas and teams who are all there in front of them to stop yeah. you getting from you know the head honcho etc cetera, etc cetera. we are literally the gatekeepers <laughs> to people's hearts and dating and so on and so forth especially you know especially if you're somebody who's divorced and has children or you know there's you know that you're a private person you could yeah. be in the public domain we've got celebrities on our books we've got aristocracy um mm -hmm. well-known people so uh you know business owners people people who are out there and oh, they yeah. don't need to have their private life in the public domain no no well this is great i mean it's lovely now that everybody knows about you they know who you are what you Thank do if you. how to contact you so everybody, if you are on the One Network and um, and you're looking for love or you know somebody that would benefit absolutely. from services, not, yeah, get yeah, in touch with lovely yeah. Lara. And please, <laughs> please, if they can identify that they've come through your network, because, um, you know, I'll also discuss with you, I'd be happy to sort of offer a discount on the packages and also we'll provide, obviously, a free dating strategy. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Thank you. So thank you so much, Lara, um, for your lovely top tips today. It's fantastic to have you in the One Network. Thank you. And thank you'll have you. to give me another video because there's no way that I can edit this down to 60 seconds <laughs> and put it in your One Directory listing. So we have to give me another video. No Everybody, 
Um, definitely contact Lara if you'd like to have a Zoom one-to-one -one with her. Bye from Lara and bye from me. Have a great weekend. Absolutely. Bye-bye.